KC from Jodeci, KC and JoJo. KC is a singer's singer. It don't matter if he's singing gospel. It doesn't matter if he's singing R&B, if he's being a crooner. KC, to me, has the voice. If there's a voice that rivals James Brown, it's KC Haley. I mean... So you have it, my baby. <laughs> and it feels so good to me. There's nothing more precious. Look how he just praised it. Than to raise a family. Then he goes up. If there's any doubt in y'all, mm -hmm. oh, mind. <laughs> oh, you no. get out. Oh, man. <laughs> that is a singer right there. And that's mm -hmm. something this generation is missing. No auto tune. Just singing, just telling the woman that you love, I'm here. I'm here always. You cannot beat. I'm, I'm being honest with you. You know, the, the first three people we mentioned, or at least I mentioned, are dead, right? Yeah. Stevie's still here. If you look at the singers today, all your singers line up. No music, no auto-tune, nothing. And say, flat foot sing, and give them a song and just a piano. That's all. I ain't talking about like a keyboard, a synthesizer's motif, X8, X9, no laptop. KC uh -huh. will drop every singer you can imagine. From he'll drop Genuine, he'll drop Tank, he'll drop uh, Cisco, he'll drop. And I love, re like, he'll just start dropping them, though. <laughs> like, KC is that dude. Then I rest my case. Fair point. Fair point. All right, coming in and next week is five. Yep. Five. I'm going with four. Uh, yeah, four. Oh, four. Yeah. four. Yeah. I'm on four. So uh, I'm on four. So my next guy is the legendary Frank Sinatra. Okay. Frank Sinatra is just like you said. He's just one of those voices where as soon as you hear it, you know it's him. Like, he was one of those, especially for that time, like, he had a stretch of, like, nobody was really rivaling him, especially in his, let's just say, in a white area space, he was he was king. He was. When it comes to that voice, like, he was nasty. Like, he, he was one of the most popular, like, everybody wanted around. He was booked everywhere. He didn't, he's on your favorite Christmas records on everything. Like, he. Right. Silent Night, Jingle Bell, all of them, and they're probably some of the best ones out there. That's and right. it's just because his voice, his voice was just so clean, but sh like, it, 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 his voice is like if a if if a river was on a cloud. I don't know how to <laughs> describe it. It was just it's unique, but it's it's yeah, it's just yeah. smooth. It's real smooth. Like he didn't drunk a, a a whole gallon of of, of oil before he sang. Oh, like hitty. <laughs> he, would, uh, he got that hitty anointing, <laughs> bro. He just it just come out. You just like I don't care what nobody say. That's one dude you could play on to go to sleep to. Yeah, it put you to sleep. And it's not because he's born. It's just because no. he got that voice. I'm not gonna lie, Frank does have that voice. He just got that voice. He's nice with it. And he got the songs as well to lean up with. Fly away, fly with me to the moon. That's life. Yeah, theme from New York. Yeah, stuff like that. It's, it's a lot of stuff. I'll be home for Christmas. I'll be home for Christmas. Yeah, have okay. yourself a merry little Christmas. Yeah. Like, hey, it's he, a lot of. Frank got the oil, man. For All right, real. number five. And I, it took a lot of convincing, and I really had to listen because. I was not a big fan of this person. And but I started to listen. I wasn't a fan of the music, right? Like I just I didn't okay. I didn't know enough of it. And I, when I would hear it, I'm like, ah, okay. But when I started to really listen and start to really listen how singers try to mimic him and